Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Happy Wednesday. Our first box unboxing of the day is our 2018 Topps Heritage Baseball personal box break. As you can see, it says out of stock. Zero. Last box mojo for Nick LaPlante. Nick, thank you very much. Good to see you as always, sir. Hoping for that last box mojo. Let's see what happens. This is box... Five, if that means if that means anything. And there's no case hits or anything like that, so I don't know if it really makes a difference. Got our one original 1969 card. We do not have any more heritage, folks. I apologize. But we did find a couple Otanis. Maybe we'll find a third one here for Nick. And there's also a box of heritage in our uh, baseball mixer today. And then that's it. No, no mas on the heritage. All right, Nick, good luck. Thank you for grabbing that box. Now, hopefully, we could find some fun uh, short print variations here, too. Maybe a nickname variation. We've only seen two of those nickname variations, Andrew McCutcheon and Noah Syndergaard. Now, those are pretty pretty big ones there. So hopefully we can find another one of those. Let's see what happens here. Stack one. Otani. Otani hunting, Nick LaPlante. Oh, you're welcome, Nick. I haven't seen an Otani autograph. That would be crazy. I would certainly pay for the box and then some. Pretty easily, I think. Gosh, you might be able to buy... You might be able to buy... If you got one of those red ink autographs, you might be able to buy a couple cases of this stuff. Does anyone have any uh, stat predictions for Otani? Will he be more of a hitter, more of a pitcher? Will he do both? Is he gonna? I don't think he's gonna log in like thirty-five starts or anything like that. I don't know if that's gonna happen. But there you go, Nick. I like that. If we pull a ready god of Otani, fly out there. We'll go to a Lakers game. I'm down. I'm down. I'll drive. Beers are on me. You fly yourself out here. Buy the tickets. I think we're in good shape. Not sure. If, I think it's going to take longer for him to adjust as a hitter. I think he'll do a lot better as a pitcher, I think. At least initially. They may just end up converting. I think he's he's projected to be a better pitcher anyway. The hitting is just a bonus. He could have some pop, I think, but I just don't think he's gonna. Not gonna. I don't think he's gonna be able to hit consistently enough to get used to major league hitting quickly enough. But I think he could smack some homers. Uh, oh, Joe Cavanaugh's got a prediction here. He says two fifty eight, about fifteen home runs, forty two RBIs, and then about four and nine with a five eleven ERA. All right. All right, I could see a slightly lower average. Maybe maybe just about right on the home runs. RBIs are kind of hard to predict. I think, it'll be, I think his pitching numbers will be a little bit better. Ah, oh, and Joe also predicts an injury. Only playing about 110 games. All right. Let's see what we got here. There's the Concord. So we're looking for a variety of variations here. Daniel Pelletier has 226, eight home runs, 25 RBIs, but slightly better on the uh, on the pitching side of things. He likes Otani for a nine. Win 11 loss record, 442 ERA, and 158 Ks 
in about 150 innings. That's pretty good. I could see something like that. I think he'll he'll adjust a little bit more quickly as a pitcher. That's what I think. Sometimes I like to check for, I don't think we've only seen one card with the 1969, um, the sort of intentional error variation there. So far, nothing significant. For Nick, a couple of these uh, newsworthy stuff. There's Aaron Judge. There's Paul DeYoung right here. He joins our breaks. Select basketball mostly. Sorry, Andrew Simmons, you are not Otani. Also looking for a relic or autograph in here too. That's the hit. Autographs are pretty rare. They're usually relics. There's Jose Abreu, chrome finish on that. And that is 196 out of 199. Well, I think, I think the White Sox could be really surprising this season. We've got a black border coming up here. Let's just take a look at that right now. That's Garrett Cole, Pirates Edition. It's about one out of every 50-ish packs. Uh, yeah, Paul DeYoung joins our breaks. Joe Cavanaugh. You've seen him in the chat in our select basketball breaks. Not Cardinals, Paul DeYoung, but we have a Paul DeYoung that, that joins our breaks. He, he was in the chat a little bit earlier. But he's in the Netherlands, and I'm pretty sure Cardinals Paul DeYoung is currently in spring training camp right now. Oh, there it is. There's the autograph. Wow, that's a nice autograph too. Trey Mancini. I was like, where is the, I'm running out of cards. Where's the hit, Nick LaPlante? But there it is. That's a great auto too. This, that, uh, someone look it up. This, this might pay for the box. Just because there's so few, I mean, Trey Mancini is solid in the first place, but then there's just so few autographs anyway. That there could be a lot of value in this guy here. I was nervous, Nick. I was like, where, 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 where's the hit? Last box mojo strikes again. All right, so nice. I'm glad you took a shot at that. Let's see what's in here.
we have Ron Reed. There's your 50th anniversary. Buyback card. There you go. Also, we should we should look at the backs of those. The magenta backs of these are really really rare. So uh, no one's buying any spots, right? Yeah. Might as well double check those. I think they're super. In fact, we'll take a look at. No, we'll take a look at one of the rabbit. I think it's one out of every like thousand some odd packs or something like that. Uh, he did boombox. Actually, uh, I need to. I actually need to email him back. Get all the information in here. Uh, all right, hey Nick Laplant, thank you very much, folks. We got more baseball, football, basketball, all on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Nick took our last personal box and ended up with a nice Trey Mancini autograph. So there you have it. Thanks, Nick. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.